implement a method to perform basic string compression using the counts of repeated characters. For example, the string AABCCCCAAA would become A2B1C5A3. If the compressed string would not become smaller than the original string, your method should return the original string. So essentially we take in a string and return the character alongside the count of the character next to the character. Here's our compress method that takes in a string and returns a string. Here we initialize the new string that we're going to return. Here we initialize previous character to the first character in the string. And we initialize the count of the first character to one. Here's our loop from one to the length of the string. We don't need to start at zero because we already set the previous character. As we go through the loop, if our current character is equal to our previous character, then we increment the count of that character by one. Otherwise, if the current character is not equal to the previous character, then we must add that character and that character's count to the new string. Then we set the new previous character to the new character at the current index that did not match the previous character. Then we reset the count for our current character back to one. We loop through until all the characters but the final character and their associated counts are in the string. After the loop is ended, we add the final character and its associated count to the new string. If the new string is empty or greater in length than the original string, then we just return the original string because there's no point in encoding the string if it's longer than the original string. Otherwise, we return our new string. So let's try our method out with some example data. As you can see, the first string returned the empty string unchanged. Here our second string has two of each letter, which would be the same length as a compressed string, so we return the same string. Here our third string has three C's, so we return the compressed string A2, B2, and C3. And here is our final string, which was the string in the question. Two A's, one B, five C's, and three A's.